Today we are going to be making and testing an RC plane that carries 4th of July sparklers. Real quick before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I post weekly videos just like the one you are watching today. But let's go ahead and get right back into the video. Now before we actually go and build the plane, we have to do one key test in order to make sure the RC plane will be able to carry sparklers. And that is we need to test the sparklers. So I went ahead, made a little station here, and did a real quick test to see how the sparklers reacted when lots of air was moving past them at high speeds. And as you can see, no matter how I adjusted the throttle, whether I went almost to full throttle or whether I went nearly to no throttle, they worked perfectly fine. Since sparklers are designed to be used while running around or playing outside, they seem to do just fine in the 80 mile an hour winds coming from the airplane. So that is all for the testing. Now we have to do the building. So here are the things that I changed on the plane and updated so that it would be fit for sparklers. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and go through all the things that I have made, all the things uh, that I've adjusted on this plane so that it will be fit for flying with sparklers. So the first thing we did is we mounted a GoPro up to here and this was actually a little more challenging than I expected because I had to not only get the angle right for the wing, but I also had to make sure I could get the GoPro facing towards this sparkler that is gonna be on this side of the wing here. So uh, once we had that on, we also added some uh, LEDs throughout the wing and uh, elevator. And the reason for that is because when the sparklers go out, uh, assuming I'm flying when it's a little darker outside, I won't be able to see the plane. So I need LEDs so that I can find the plane in the sky and land it safely even once the sparklers are all used up. So um, those are back here. We just have one that's connected to the main power of the uh, battery and that's this red strip that goes along here. And then we also have one that goes off of this connector which powers these white ones that are going through the wing as well as a blue and red one on either side of the wing. So that should just give us some great visibility even when the sparklers go out so that we can safely land the plane without burning an entire house down because that would be really bad. So other than that, we have a power pack C motor. Um, the whole setup for this is really heavy. So I'm either gonna have to fly really fast or have a really big motor and fly really slow, which is to say I would have to go at a very sharp angle of attack and then kind of use lots of throttle throughout the flight, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, please subscribe down below. It would really help me out. But uh, other than that, I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in part two of this video where we will be putting sparklers on the RC airplane and going for a flight.